Of more than 600 project proposals, only 24 received an EU funding. Diacad is one of the lucky ones. And what is more, it is the only project coordinated by an institution in Germany. Is that a dream come true? Yes, it's a kind of dream come true and we were really happy that we got this funding because we tried really hard to make the perfect proposal and with the help of all the partners in the project, we made it. What is the innovation capacity of Diacat and what could be its social or political impact? Well, if we succeed, and of course we hope that we succeed, we will develop a completely new technology for the transformation of carbon dioxide, one of the greenhouse gases that are dangerous for the climate, and to something useful like chemicals or fuels, so that we can kind of recycle it. It will help to form a more sustainable society because at the moment we still rely on fossil fuels and these will end someday and if we can recycle carbon dioxide from the atmosphere or for, from industrial processes we will be able to become much more sustainable than we are right now. Novelty and high risk have been a key part of the Fed Open Call. Could you explain in simple words the challenges of Diacat research work? The high risk that we take in Diacat is that we want to do this transformation with something very simple, with sunlight. So far the technology can only use very short wavelength UV light, which is not abundant in the natural sunlight. And we want to use the whole spectrum of sunlight to transform the carbon dioxide. And this, of course, we don't know yet if this will work, but we will work hard to make it happen.